Hey, hi, hello. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. This is an impromptu book community video. I hope the lighting is fine. Yeah, I hope the lighting is fine. Look, you can see my tripod behind me. But anyway, I was like, let me go ahead and do this before people start deleting tweets because you know how people like to be all big and bold and tweet and then they're like, oh, and then they delete it. So any hoozy doozy. Okay, this is literally about one topic and if I'm correct, I think I am. I don't know. I feel like I'm rusty. This all stemmed from one tweet. So Neeks, who is one of my mutual, hi Neeks if you're watching, tweeted um, just something that seemed really just innocuous and just very nice as an auntie because she was tweeting about trying to get a book recommendation for her niece. But you know Twitter takes things and runs left. The tweet was, my 15 year old niece told me she likes reading Tessa Bailey and I nearly fainted. Y'all, please send age appropriate romance suggestions. I'm going to pre-order Talia's and Rebecca's YA romances. I don't care if there's sex in it. It needs to be age respectful sex lort. Valid. And okay. And then it got wild from there. Some people genuinely <laughs> suggesting younger, young adult books for her niece. And then a lot of people popping out of pocket. Let me draw a diagram for you. I'm not, I'm not an artiste, right? But this is somewhat a pocket, right? Let's just say this is a pocket. I'm gonna write pocket on here. So this is the pocket. This is where the people have been out of the pocket. Like it's out of control. I'm so, this video really is just gonna be a, a, a bunch of tweets that I'm reading because so you can see the ridiculousness and then I'm, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, so one tweet I saw, your niece sees and hears about so many bad, disrespectful, misogynistic, and probably violent, non-consensual sex on TV and movies and music. Tessa's books will show her good people searching for love, monogamous relationships. But 15? I don't know. I don't have children. At, at 15, I was not reading romance, so I don't know. But I just, I don't know. Neeks replied, I'm not opposed to her reading romance, but I'd rather her read romance that pertains to her age group so she has a more realistic grasp on what to expect when it comes to her future romantic partners. Very valid. Great auntie. Um, again, lots of people giving good recommendations and then you have more people being ri ridiculous someone said what you're looking for is clean romance which ugh, i hate that word so much that's the name of the genre however i was reading mills and boone when i was 12 had read damn near every stephen king available by 15 so i think you have your knickers and a twist for nothing welcome to 2022 this is the theme. This is the theme of a lot of the tweets. I read these things that weren't age appropriate for me when I was younger and I'm fine. Are you fine though? Probably not. But like, <laughs> that's just like, my mama beat my ass when I was younger and I'm fine. So everybody else should get their ass beat too. Neeks replied, clearly, that isn't what I'm looking for. My niece has already very clearly been reading on page sex. I would like to introduce her to a theme more relevant to her age range instead of mine. So you don't need to get your knickers in a twist or my words for that matter. Oh, read that hoe. And that's how you clear a bitch. Okay. I was reading adult romance at 13. My mom didn't know, but I don't think it damaged me in any way. You don't think. You don't think it damaged you in any way. Oh, miss, miss. Miss ma'am, let me not assu assume this person is, you know, identifies as a woman, but that is just, I, I don't know. I don't think I would brag about that. Uh, Neek said, okay, <laughs> that's great for you. I would like my niece to have access to more realistic representation for her age range and a balanced reading experience since that is available to her. I, again, valid, rational thought we're having here where some people can't have that. And then here's some quote tweets. I'm saving I'm saving the biggest, baddest one for last. If you're like, Jessica, where is that one? Just wait, just wait. Don't look, don't look at my couch behind me. Okay, mind your business, okay? This person said, I was reading my mom's cosmopolitan magazine. She hid somewhere in her room when I was 12 years old. Imagine what the kids are seeing now with the internet. Y'all are so naive, clutching the pearls. Why is it just like, obviously, as a parent, as a guardian, as an older person wanting to mentor or look out for a younger person? I think you do have to be realistic that you can't protect them from everything and you and you shouldn't keep them from everything but you're going to try your best to protect them from things that you might find harmful or just not right to view with their age right like and you know you can't 
keep them from seeing everything but like why why is it people's first thing to say why even try just give up like why why would you do that like why shouldn't someone try oh lord and then Neeks replied oh look another I'm clutching my pearls because I checks notes encourage literature to meet the intended reader where they are and that any intimate scenes pertain and depict relevant info to the reader oof to the nunnery with me <laughs> Neeks is killing me with these responses then this person comes back and says lady love that you'd like to encourage literature you think is appropriate but I was commenting on the shock in your tweet that some kid is reading something inappropriate you'll find most kids are reading the absolute worst things no need for the sensationalism again wow you'll find that ki most kids do not generalize children okay some of us are straight edge nerds okay some of us are straight edge nerds who are terrified of their mothers and so they do not step out of line okay not not all of us are like oh what's that let me go to this no some some of us not speaking speaking from experience speaking speaking from experience i was a very straight edge child i was terrified of my mother i actually still that's that's not the point here so yet again Neeks replied you don't get to call me a pearl clutcher and then act like I'm sensationalizing things I'm not not have I once suggested that kids aren't getting into things inappropriate but I am seeking to offer better options to my niece and people take issue with that for some reason and I was shocked because how could my blood be reading something so mediocre <laughs> I was aghast truly <laughs> no and then it gets worse it gets wussa. So then this person, Rebecca, who is a rare book librarian, I hope only a rare book librarian and does not deal with the youths, said, seeing some hand wringing about popular book talk sexy books being shelved as YA at Target. Just a reminder that many of us read these as teens. Of course, we are all a bunch of sickos now. Or read these as teens, sorry. The English language is dumb. So there are four pictures of flowers in the attic, pet cemetery, uh, the clan of the cave bear, and the stranger beside me. Rebecca also has a, another tweet with a photo that is a picture of a young adult section at a Target. Rebecca said, this is the photo in question. Don't want to tag anyone because I see where they're coming from, but my hot take is that almost every book here is or should be considered YA. I'm sorry, but this is what teens read. They have shit to figure out and books are a safe place to do that. Which I agree that books are a safe place to do that, but like that doesn't mean they need to be reading the most fucked up shit at like 12 or 13. Also, I don't know if this is directly connected to what was happening with Neeks. I just have seen both of these things back and forth and they kind of uh, coordinate. So that's where I'm, that's where I'm going with this. Any whoops, I don't know who originally posted the Target shelf, but I'm obviously gonna have a photo on the screen, but I'm also gonna talk about the pictures that are in it, um, the books that are in it. And so we can BFFR together with this person saying these should be YA. The book's in the picture. It ends with us with Colleen Hoover, November 9, Colleen Hoover. Ugly love, all your perfects, maybe someday confess. A bunch of Colleen Hoover books. Um, I can't read that one in the corner. The Love Hypothesis, The Cheat Sheet, The Spanish Love Deception, Verity, again, more Colleen Hoover. Uh, Daisy Jones and the Six, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, The Atlas Six, Neon Gods, The Maidens, Wicked Beauty, A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury. Good Girl Complex, The Deal, Hook, Line, and Sinker, The Unhoneymooners, Red, White, and Royal Blue, A Little Life, The Silent Patient. That's what's in this photo. Now, I don't, I, I, I don't, mm, I don't know. I don't know what, what category you would put Colleen Hoover in. I mean, I don't, I know the girlies are reading it, but I don't know how, if that's like good for a 15 year old. Again, I don't have children. I don't know. Um, the love hypothesis. Um, I mean, it's not the worst book out there. Uh, haven't Verity. No, like, no, I just don't, I just don't think. No, 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 no. I don't know about Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I think that one would be fine. I guess Atlas Six, I think is fine. Neon Gods, I think is too much. Neon Gods and Wicked Beauty by Katie Robert. Let's not, let's not, not, especially 15, come on. Um, and then it's funny that Bloomsbury 
rebranded the A Court of Thrones and Roses books to make them adult but yet they're in the young adult section and granted I don't know if I don't think every Target is like this maybe it was just this Target my battery's dying okay I don't know where I was but I, yeah so they rebranded the Akatar books to be adult and they're in the young adult section and again tar every Target probably doesn't look like this and who knows who set this up but it's just like ooh, some of these and then A Little Life the book that I hear is literally trauma porn page one to page the end. I don't I don't think so. I do not think that this should be the YA section. So Rebecca continues. Oh, I have riled the book censors. No, not the right wing bigots, but the soft hearted lefties who think their children will die if they're exposed to anything outside their candy colored safe space curated and completely false world. Funny how they become the bigots they purport to fight. As a queer child in the 80s, I would have killed myself without access to adult books. Books, including some bad ones, saved my life. Let kids read. And now I'm muting this thread. All right, Rebecca. Any hopes? In addition to that, I have many quote tweets that made me cackle or I thought were good. Mary said, I want people to understand that by mislabeling adult books as YA is one thing that will make it more difficult for teen librarians and public libraries, school librarians and teachers to fight against actual censorship in the current state or the current state of book bans. Moms for Liberty and their ilk are already judging actual YA books, books written expressly for and about teens for what they consider to be adult content when they're sex or swearing. If you're dropping adult books into teen sections, you're giving them ammo to keep digging. How do I know? My library has been facing a challenge for one single YA book for three and a half years. These people still show up nearly every, to every single city council work session and meeting and library board meeting to complain about the library. One person went to a budget hearing to ask that the library budget be cut 25% just because we won't remove this one YA book. We recently had to suspend all book buying so city council could figure out how we determine what books we buy and if they need to have more oversight. oversight. So spare me the drama about hand wringing lefties who think their children will die if exposed to anything outside their candy colored safe space. Teens and kids can have and will continue to read adult books. The thing is that they can make the determined choice to do so. But when you're putting adult books on a shelf and labeling it teen, those teens or people buying for them may not be making informed choices. And then the book banners accuse us of tricking them and poisoning them and grooming them. Stop giving them an easy argument. P.S. I really do think the Target pick is a mistake. I don't believe Target is intentionally labeling adult books, labeling adult books as YA. Shelving error or they ran out of space. My comments are in response to people asking why it matters to categorize books because the teens are reading these anyway. Excellent. Thank you, Mary, who's, an, who's a librarian, actually. Then this tweet made me laugh. It said the age, the whole age appropriate discourse is funny because I googled this kids book series I saw an ad for and look what came up in the search. <laughs> And the, and the first thing they came up was morning glory milking farm. <laughs> I definitely don't know if kids should be reading that. Um, so more tweets, you'll see them on the screen, obviously. I hate to wade into why discourse, but as a tangent to the mislabeled books thing, it's not sexual content that make makes adult books inappropriate. YA books can and do often deal with many complicated issues. Heck, even picture books do, but the approach varies based on age group. There are picture books, for example, that thoughtfully and carefully broach the issue of consent with the aim of educating toddlers. These books are written with great skill and caution. We can handle adults with less care. Reading comprehension is at an all time low. Okay, but can we talk about it? I'm actually concerned. Because y'all struggle with simple shit. Two things can be true. Yes, I read Clan of the Cave Bear and Flowers in the Attic in elementary school and enjoyed them. But I knew when I was reading them that they were adult books. I'll, you know, I uh, that might need to be a live stream. We need to talk about reading comprehension because it's gone. It's out the window. The girlies don't know it no more. This is why I always remind people young adult is not a genre. It is literally an age category. Young adult books are written with teens in mind. Those books in my LRT. What's that mean? LRT? Uh, are not. Period. Teens buy. Teens might read them, sure, but they shouldn't be shelved that way. Also, again, many of us did turn to adult novels and fanfic as kids because there wasn't much else when looking for diverse books that feature marginalized and queer people. But guess what? A bunch of young adult authors write those books now. If you don't know that, just say that. Amen. Excellent point. Then absolutely not. Teens read plenty of things not meant for them. It doesn't mean you change the category to fit that. And there are books on that shelf that will help them figure things out in healthy ways. Others were written with the purpose of doing so. 
So if they decide to read one, figure something out there, great, but that's not the explicit purpose. There are plenty actual YA books that are th that are though. Put those where they belong. That becomes way easier when booksellers branch out instead of trying to fill a shelf with things like, oh, I don't know, mostly white authors or only books that get hot on TikTok. Like it's not that hard, I promise. It's also unfair to put that pressure on authors who write specifically for adults. They didn't accept that responsibility and they don't deserve to be attacked if someone's parents get upset or if it ends up being harmful to a young person that the material was not meant for. Um, Katie Robert said, look, I read adult books as a kid, but saying that those, my books, are inherently young adult because teens can and do read them, no. I write for adults. My books are intentionally adult. I know teens read them, but calling them YA is disingenuous at best. The whole point of categorization is so people can make educated reading decisions. Putting erotic romance in a YA section is what the fuck. Arguing that it's YA because teens read it is mind-blowingly not okay. To be clear, I am not giving a moral judgment on what teens are or aren't reading. I'm specifically talking about categorization categorization in relation to that bad take going around. Here's my favorite one. A professor is swallowing the entire boob of a student in one of these books. Guess what book that is. <laughs> and again, I don't know if these are related, but I'm going back to a, another tweet um, that was in response to Neek's tweet about her niece. And this person said, it's wonderful that you're invested in your niece's well-being. That being said, please consider that she might be kinky and looking for insights. Why romances will be missing a lot of what she needs if I'm right. If you're close enough to talk and ask her, do that first. Neek said, I believe in open communication and she knows she has that with me when she chooses to use it. However, at this stage, she is clearly interested in the idea or act of sex as a general concept. With that info, it's imperative to get good rep in front of her as soon as possible. If she came to me and expressed an interest in a specific kink, I would understandably have further questions, but I wouldn't shame her. I look for safe depictions for her to read and go from there, but she is 15. All of this is new and exciting. She just needs solid literature. Like, Please, this tweet encapsulates my feelings. Please consider your minor niece might be kinky. Go to jail, do not stop, do not pass go, do not collect $200. Are you? I would like permission to put everyone in jail. I would like, I need handcuffs. I am unwell. That took me out. I am, I am tired. Um, no. So to wrap up this video, which has just been a lot of tweets, I know, but I just don't know. Now, if you have children, if you have children, um, we're reading books, uh, especially if they're teens. What do you think? Like, what are what kind of books if they wanted to read romance would you be giving them do you think those books do you think like colleen hoover tessa bailey katie robert are appropriate for them like age appropriate or you don't care or no or like i would love to know i don't have, like i said i'll say it again i don't have kids i don't plan on having children um i love that kids love to read and i think a lot of us have read things above what we're supposed to read. I mean, not me. Did I? I don't think so. I really did keep it straight edge with the reading. I really did. But um, that just doesn't make any sense. That's just saying like you can insert bad thing happened to me when I was younger and I'm fine. So it's fine if it happens to other people. Like what? Are you serious? Are you? a dumb dumb like it's mm, I'm worried so anyway I would love your thoughts your feelings I'm feeling like these two things aren't connected I don't know but they're very similar in tone you know what I'm saying I don't know Twitter's a mess these days I feel like my feed is not looking the same and so I'm not able to make as good deductions as I used to in the past also I'm out of practice but anyway I just wanted to t I just I just was seeing disturbing things and the, the kink thing took me out. It's too much. I need a snack and um, I need to cuddle with my dog. So that's it for this video. Hey, I'm back because I was looking through my bookmark because I was taking screenshots and I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about this TikTok. So I'm going to play it 
and then I'm gonna rant about it and then that'll be the end of this video. Okay, great. Okay, I've recorded this like three times, but I wanna talk about DNFing. Um, I think that we need to figure out a different way to do this. So we have been, well, not we, cause I don't talk about DNFing, but some people on here have been showing the actual physical book that they are DNFing and then talking about all the reasons why they're DNFing the book. That is just blatantly mean and disrespectful to the authors. As an author, we put our time, effort, blood, sweat, tears, and we create this, what we feel is a masterpiece. If you don't like it, that is your right to not like it. It is also not your right to sit there and just verbally bash it. So talk about a book that you didn't like, that's fine. You do not need to physically hold that actual book up and say, this is the book I did not like. That's what I'm asking you to stop doing. That's what I'd like you to leave in 2022. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. Now I'm going to make it a point to if I physically have a book or even because she did put her hand up at the screen. I will make sure that I always wait. Ah, just got dark. I turned off my computer screens. Anyway, I just think that is so ridiculous. And I need authors to get off the internet. Um, if you can't handle seeing that your book is possibly going to come up on TikTok and someone's going to not like it, get off of TikTok. Same thing on YouTube. I can't relate. I'm not an author. I imagine that's difficult, but like, you need to be serious, okay? Stop telling people that they cannot talk negatively about a book. Get over it. It's ridiculous. Like that's not gonna stay in 2022. I'm taking it right into 2023, okay? I make videos specifically about books that I DNF'd and yes, I'm gonna tell you why. Because some people might agree with me and say, yep, that's why I didn't wanna read that book. That's why I DNF'd the book. And then some people also may be like, wait, that sounds great. I'm gonna read that book. Hello, have we not learned this yet? Whether you talk about a book positively and hype it up or you hated the book, there are gonna be people who find that they, they find things from your review that make them want to read the book. It happens, okay? So get over it. Um, yeah. Stabilize, hydrate, and moisturize and sunscreen. I wish I need some lip chat. Bang it, where is mine? Not the bang. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.